Hi there, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a new project to share with you. It's the Ophelia Journal in a Box and it's the project for our next Facebook Live class number 15 but it's also available as a PDF tutorial. Um, whether you do the Facebook Live class or the PDF tutorial, I take you through how to make the whole project from chipboard black card, our signature black construction tape and a few extra little embellishments uh, to make this finished box and journal. So the box is just over nine and a quarter by five and three quarters by just over three inches tall and there are options for see-through lid, solid lid, whatever you fancy making and We've got a hook lock on the side here, metal feet on the bottom, and I've decorated this in two 12 by 12 pads from uh, Stamperia. It's the Sir Vagabond pads, which gave me um, a really lovely time traveller journal feel to the project. But the instructions are written so that you can make your project in your own choice of papers. So... Um, you get full instructions for cutting your chipboard and then all the papers that go onto the box. How to assemble uh, the box is covered in a video. And then inside we have got a fab little journal. I've added a ribbon tie here to the box just to make it easy to get the album out. But the box itself, the Ophelia box, is a lovely size if you just wanted to make the box. Um, great for a pencil case. Oh, you can use it for all sorts of things. But it's a nice depth. So that's the Ophelia box. Let's pop that out of the way. And here is the journal that sits inside it. So the journal is um, eight and three quarters by just over five and a half inches wide. And I've done lots of sort of fuzzy cutting. I've used fun foam here on the front to raise up this fabulous image of the train and the balloon. Really steampunky, um, Victoriana industrial feel to it, I think, this collection. And I've called it the Traveller. I've used one of the ephemera cards from the paper pack as well under there. So lots of layering. There is room in the box to be quite um, detailed on the cover of your journal. So you can put lots of layers and the book will still fit in the box. And then I've just covered the back and the spine with paper. The album, um, How to Put It Together, is all covered in a video. And we do use my signature black construction tape to put the box and the album together. And then inside, I've got uh, one of the little traveller's notebooks. This is from the Graphic 45 set which is just a nice thing to have in your journal so that you can um, doodle and write and be creative. And that's just held in with a belly band and a sort of holder at the bottom of the page. And then the album's got five double-sided pages. How to put the album together is covered in one video. And then in the second video, I take you through how to make all of the add-ons so that you can create a mix and match journal to suit whatever it is that you want to put in it. So um, I've called them adding one, two and three and four and five in the PDF, but then you can mix and match depending on what you want to sit where in your project. So we've got um, two little fold out flaps on this page. I love this chappy. I paper piece the pieces of paper together. <laughs> It's a mouthful, isn't it? I pieced the papers together so that I got the continuous um, picture of him on the fold out section. And then I put our black paper clips um, onto the, the sides here, just so that I can put little ephemera under there and pictures. It's a great way to add pictures into your project, but not stick them in wouldn't want to stick anything over him. I think he's fabulous. I love that he's got the mills in his glasses and the green fields. This whole collection reminds me of the industrial opening section of the London 2012 Olympics. 
and then we've got a little pocket on the front there and this is uh, these are the little ATC size tags from Graphic 45 the little black ones and then that closes with a magnet and then I've got a little policy envelope here and that was made using the policy and decorative die set from Graphic 45. Lovely size little pocket addition to any project. And that just tucks under there, under the paper clip. And then we've got a little pocket option here. A space at the top to slide tags in or photos. And then this little pocket opens with a magnet and there's another little tuck spot inside to put ephemera, like a secret spot. And then this page has just got a little hole at the bottom that closes with a magnet and that means that you can pop all sorts in it and the page doesn't flop open and your pieces don't fall out. And then this little insert is cut from the folder and sentiment die another graphic 45 die I love it and that's attached to the page and then inside I've just got two little tags those are the little graphic 45 tags again the ATC size and then I've just with a cutout created a tuck spot on the front of the pocket so that just flips over like that. We've got some plain papers on or plain pages just for photos and then we've got a nice fold out page here and a little fold down flap and then on the inside there is a little pocket to tuck something small in and that just holds together with the paper clip and then another plain page there to put photos on however you want to add them again they're clipped in with a policy envelope on the other side i love these little policy envelopes they're so cute it's a great die it's really universal and one that you could use on so many projects you could even make a little album out of it so that's tucked on there this is one of the large Graphic 45 tags and I've scored it, made a pocket and then it's held in place with a magnet and it folds down and then there's a tuck spot underneath, a little pocket to put pictures in. And then that just closes with the paper clip. And then right at the back, there's a nice deep pocket. You can pop things into it, clip things onto the page and then a nice tuck spot under this lovely cutout right at the back. So lots and lots of options, they're all covered in, uh, they'll be covered in the class and they'll be completely covered in the PDF tutorial so that you can then decorate the whole project in your choice of papers. So that is the Ophelia Journal in a Box. I hope you love it. I really liked how it came together. So if you follow the links below to the Facebook Live class, you'll find out more information about it. You can join before the class and join the live workshops, or you can join afterwards and just follow along with the videos, or you can buy the PDF tutorial. And that covers everything that's covered in the Facebook Live class. Uh, but um, just videos without the chit chat. So links below to both of those and then links below as well to all of the products that I've used in the project. So if you love the papers, you want to make the whole project and buy the look, then you'll find the links below. So thanks very much for watching. I hope I've inspired you to be creative. It's amazing what you can make with a bit of card and a bit of paper bit of sticky glue and do give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel and then you'll be kept up to date with new videos and projects as they come out. Bye for now.